So we're going to start just with a simple pulse. Going to join in with the other hand. Now we can do the left hand every second beat of the right. Doesn't have to be perfect, mine's definitely not. Every third. fourth every fifth now we can keep going forever if you want but we're going to stop there <laughs> um, we can also divide that pulse so this some of this might be a little bit too hard at first um, don't worry about it just getting the idea of it so let's start slow Divide it by two. Three. Four. And so on. So again, you can go to infinitely is whatever's physically possible. Once it gets too fast to be physically possible, you could make this one even slower. And then you realize that dividing the beat is the same as doing the multiples like we're doing before. So a just straight pulse can be a little bit boring sometimes, so we can make it more interesting with accents. That can be like a strong accent and then a weak accent. So strong and then weak. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. That makes your rhythms a little bit more interesting. And we can also add a bit of swing or shuffle to it, which is making the duration between beats different. So we could do a long and a short and a long and a short. It sounds a little bit like skipping. Let's try bringing in the left hand a little bit. So we don't want to just use one hand all the time, we want to practice both. Now we can do things in sets of three too, so we could do strong, weak, weak. Okay, or strong, strong, weak, let's do that with the left. Now if you want to practice any of this stuff more, you can just pause the video and keep practicing it yourself. Um, we're going to move on there. So we can also change the direction between these three beats. So we could do a long, a short, short. So okay, or we could try a short, long, long. So once you start adding changing accents and changing the, the duration between beats, you can get a lot of different possibilities, even with just simple numbers like two and three. Let's move on to four now, and we're going to start counting, okay, so we haven't been counting so far, um, but let's start counting out the beats so we can start doing some different things on different numbers, okay, so we're just going to do four on this one, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now let's bring in this hand on the say the one and the three. So one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we can start using two different fingers. Now this is going to be really handy for finger drumming, starting learning how to use different fingers at different times so early. So again, we're going to do the well. Let's actually let's do the four on this left hand, and let's. Do the one with our index finger on our right hand and the three with our middle finger on our right hand. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Now let's change change hands. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can see changing hands can mess you up a little bit at first, but that's a really good way to train your brain. So most songs are in cycles of four. So they're either like changing every four. You can divide the four up even more, into, so eight or 16, but and most songs are just simple cycles of four. So let's try five now. Um, I really enjoy odd numbers because then 
make your brain work even harder and it makes, seems a bit unusual so let's try five on this one let's do the one on our middle finger on our left hand and let's say the three that index finger on our right hand on our left hand so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five now you can change a beat every cycle so we can say do one and then three in one cycle and then one and four in the next cycle and changing it makes it not so monotonous so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, if five just seems weird to you, don't worry too much about it. This is something I really enjoy, and during this course we're going to practice this sort of stuff enough that it starts to feel not so weird, and actually starts to get enjoyable. So now we're going to do six. Six is much more commonly used than five, and the reason it is because it's divisible by both two and three. So you can have two sets of three, or you can have three sets of two. So let's start up with two sets of three first. So let's do one to six on our left hand, and let's do one with our index finger of our right hand and four with our middle finger of our right hand. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's try the splitting it up into uh, three sets of two. So let's do the one to six on our right hand and let's do the one with the index finger of our left and let's do the three and the five with the middle finger of our left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now, obviously, the possibilities start to grow exponentially with each number you get with all the different combinations. If we started bringing in accents and changing the duration of different beats, it can start to get pretty crazy at this stage. Now, the good thing about six is it's uh, divisible by two and th being divisible by two and three is that we can start doing a thing called polyrhythms. So, with this polyrhythm, we will do three on one hand and in the same time do two beats on the other hand. Now this can seem quite hard if you just start trying to do it, but if we count through to the six beats, it can be quite easy. So let's do one and four with our right hand, and let's do one, three, and five with our left hand. Okay, so, and the, sometimes it's really good just to remember that the two and the six will have nothing on them. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four five six one two three 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 four five six so as we get better at this we can start getting faster and once you start getting faster the rhythm will start to become quite natural so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if we do it without counting, you can actually start to hear the rhythm. Now, if you just, without counting at all, if you just started doing that rhythm, you'd probably find it quite easy. Um, and you wouldn't even re necessarily realize you're doing a polyrhythm. So polyrhythms can be really fun and not quite as hard as it seems as long as you start having easy ways to think about them. So let's move on to cycles of seven now. So again, a rarely used cycle, but really fun for me. So let's just do seven with the right hand and let's do the one on the middle finger of the left and let's do the four, say, on the index finger of the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the bad thing about seven as a number is it's got two syllables in it, which affects our counting. So let's move on to eight now. And instead of counting all the way up to eight, we're going to change the way we count. We're going to go one and two and three 
and 4 and so and I like to use two different fingers on this hand now to count them out so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and if that doing that fast seems too hard you can always go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 with one finger whatever seems easier to you at this stage whatever's more fun so once we got used to counting out those on this hand let's do the one on the middle finger of this hand and the three on the index finger of the left hand so we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and obviously the possibilities in eight different beats become really really high so let's do the most basic beat that everyone does is the one on this finger the two on the index finger the three back on the middle finger and the four on the index finger again so it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and, two and, three and, four and, and. Uh, let's change hands now um, it, it can seem really hard once you've gotten used to doing it with one hand to change and swap the roles of the dude of the hands but I find it's really good for your brain to practice this so if at first it messes you up a bit just pause the video and practice it a little bit on your own um, sometimes you just need that little bit of space to get used to something so let's break it down again so it's one and two and three and four and with the left hand okay and we're gonna get one and two and three and four and with the right hand so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay now this is something you can practice a lot so this beat is used all the time you can pretty much play along to any song with this beat um, it's probably over years um, and once you get it down you can do it without even thinking about it um, so you can just pick up any pad controller any finger drumming uh, software and just start banging out that beat no problem without even thinking about it so that wraps it up for this lesson